Hey everybody, Scott Hogan coming at you. We are outside and you know what? We have to deal with some of the elements that come with being back outside and that's gonna be wind. Today we're gonna to talk about hitting shots in the wind. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, Scott Hogan coming at you. We are here, we are at Inwood Golf Course here. Excited to be back, working on our games. Make sure you click that subscribe button. We're gonna be having some outdoor launch monitor tests, plus just talking about how to shoot some lower scores. So we're gonna get into all of that. But today we are talking about something that we don't have to deal with when we're inside throughout the winter. We have to deal with this when we go outside and that is the elements. We have to deal with all of the conditions that are going on. Now, I know many of you say, hey, Scott, we can turn on things, we can do wind, we can do lie penalties. That's all good for giving you a chance to just kind of get a feel for it. But at the end of the day, there's nothing that replaces practicing in those elements or getting used to how they work. So today, we get a good chance. This happens a lot here in Chicago. It is the windy city, not because it is actually windy, but it does get windy here in the spring and the fall. So we have to learn how to deal with windy conditions. And I would say these are the conditions that actually are some of the toughest, especially for professional players. Wind drives them crazy because it's pretty unpredictable. And so we have to know what we can do when we're playing in windy conditions. All right. So we're here on the range. We've got a day here. We have got about 30 to 40 mile an hour winds. It is very, very windy. We might not even keep our, tr our tripods up here today doing this video, but when we're doing these conditions, all right, the first thing you have to know is don't practice in these conditions, all right? If you're going out to hit balls, don't. If you're going out to putt, don't. You don't want to practice in these conditions unless you are very specifically practicing wind shots. All right, and in that case, I'd recommend going to play instead of hitting on the range, okay? Now here's why. When we are on the range, one of the things that we have to deal with is you have a lot of spin with the wind. The wind enhances spin. So if I'm hitting a flighted range ball, that ball is going to spin off of the planet. Okay, so you're not going to get a great feel for anything that's going on, especially if you're working on your swing, you'd be better off staying at home and just doing some drills to swing the golf club. Again, you need to be working on specifically wind related things in conditions like this. All right, so that's the first thing. Now, to get better at the wind, hey, we're playing a tournament, we're playing a round of golf, you have to play in the wind. Let's talk about some of those things that you have to do. So when we're playing in the wind, one of the things that we have to realize is spin is our enemy in the wind because wind is going to enhance spin or it's going to make the ball spin a lot more. So if we are doing things that are making the ball spin a lot, we are going to have a lot of issues. So rule number one in the wind, you have to control the, the spin of the golf ball. Now there's two ways that you do it. You're gonna see a couple things overlap here when we're talking about these, but number one is going to be, you have to control your angle of attack. I can't hit down on the ball a lot because when I hit down, that makes the ball spin and go up. We don't need that, we don't want that, okay? So when I'm hitting in the wind, I have to be thinking very level with my swing. I have to be thinking very level to get this ball. Like I'm just gonna clip the ball off the grass. Now to help with that, what I see a lot of people do is they put the ball way back in their stance. But when you do that, that makes you wanna hit down on it a lot. We don't want that. So what I like to do is, I like to get the ball in the middle of my stance just a hair maybe in front of that, okay? I'm not gonna have it in my normal ball position. I do want the ball to be lower, but I don't wanna go super far back where the ball starts to increase in spin, okay? So that's gonna be the first way we control that spin. Now the second way is going to be speed. The more speed I have in a golf swing, the more that ball's going to spin. So there's two things I'm gonna to wanna to do. One, I need to take more club. On a day like today, I'm going to be taking three to four clubs more, okay? It's not going to matter, especially on the short end of the bag, you know, your wedges, your nine iron, your eight iron, it's not really gonna matter 
what club I hit, it's not going to fight through the wind. You need to keep the ball low, and we're going to talk about that in a sec. But I'm going to take a club where I can hit it super light because that's going to keep the ball flatter and have it stay under that wind a little bit. So if I hit this shot right here, this is a 7-iron. I realistically, in this wind, we're going straight into it. I realistically think I could hit this, you know, 140 yards, 130 yards maybe. So my swing's going to look something like this, where it's just very, very smooth and keeping that ball flight a lot flatter as I'm hitting those shots, okay? You can see I took a little divot, but it's not a very, very steep divot. It's not a deep divot as we're doing that, okay? So the first thing you have to do in the wind, control your spin. You do that by controlling your angle of attack and controlling your... All right, so the second thing that we have to control then is the height of the golf ball. We have to control the height of the golf ball. So if we are going for a shot that's into the wind here, okay, I need to keep the ball low. In general, I like to keep the ball low when we're hitting with the wind or in the wind or any type of really, really windy conditions. And people say, well, what about downwind? Well, what actually happens when you're going downwind is there's kind of this threshold where when you hit a shot, if you hit it kind of a certain height, what happens is the ball gets to this point and then it gets actually pushed down by the wind. So if I'm going to hit downwind, I'm either going to hit it really, really high or I'm going to keep the ball low just like I would into the wind. Okay, so there's two ways that I can do that. One, I can move the ball back in my stance. Okay, I'm going to move the ball back in my stance again just a little bit because we're balancing that idea that we don't want to hit too down on the ball, but I do want to move it back because that would encourage me to hit the ball lower. So I do want to get it down. But the big issue is when I start to move it back and I get that spin, it's still, if I swing too hard or I'm out of control with that, I'm going to balloon the ball up anyway and I'm not going to hit it anywhere. So that's not going to be good either. Now, the second thing that you do to control that trajectory is pick a club that hits it lower. So I'm taking two, three, four more golf clubs and I'm going to keep the ball low. When we're hitting into the wind, it almost does not matter what club you hit. It's all about trajectory. If it's a very, very strong wind, I can hit a 9-iron from 100 yards, or I can hit an 8-iron from 100 yards, and they might go the same distance. Sometimes it might go shorter when I hit a full 8-iron over a short, over a half-swing 9-iron, just because that trajectory is so important. So for me, we're playing on a super windy day, it's so rare that I'm gonna hit a full swing, okay? That's the only thing that I'm gonna do is just punch the ball around, and so I'm gonna take more club, and I'm gonna combine it with some of my spin techniques. Let's try to keep it nice and low with just some half swings. That ball penetrates as much as it possibly can, and then it's gonna start hitting that wind and then it's going to be up to whatever going on there, okay? So that's some of the stuff that you need to be able to try start negotiating as you're practicing in the wind. So that's stuff that I would be doing as I'm practicing out here in the wind. The third thing that we have to work on in the wind is club face control is paramount. That's why I do like having a little bit more of a controlled swing in the wind because I need to know where the club face is. Now, Today, right now, I'm hitting directly into the wind. So what is that going to do to my ball flight? Well, it's going to make the ball balloon, but it's going to make the ball curve more to the right or left. So if I close the face, it's going to curve a lot to the left. If I open the face, it's going to curve a lot to the right. So you have to be aware of that. So I'm going to play some bigger curves as I hit these shots. If I'm downwind, it tends to take curve off of the ball because it's just pushing the ball through the air. Now, one thing to note, you will get hurt more by into the wind than be helped by going downwind. Okay, I see a lot of people think the wind's really gonna help them. It doesn't help you that much, but when you're hitting into the wind, you will get hurt. So like, let's say we're hitting over a lake. 
I'll see somebody into the wind, they don't take enough club because they're not banking on the wind hurting them that much. And then downwind, they also don't take enough club because they think the wind's gonna help them more than it does. So you have to know that, but when you're going in. Now, when we're on a crosswind, if I'm on a crosswind, and these can be very, very challenging, okay? So if I'm on the crosswind, what I have to look at is which direction is it coming from, okay? So let's say I had a crosswind going right to left. Here's the thing I have to do as I'm hitting these shots. I have to make sure I don't close the face. If I have a wind going that way, I can't move the ball that way either. That ball is going to be unplayable, okay? It's gonna move way too much. I'm gonna be riding the wind, as we call it, and that ball's gonna take off. Now, can you use that to your advantage? You can if you have enough room, but you're gonna have to play for a massive amount of curve. But one thing to know, when you do ride the wind, you tend to hit the ball farther. Now, what I'd rather do is if I had a right to left wind, what I would look at is I would try to keep the face pointing open or towards the wind. I'm gonna fight the wind. What happens there is it keeps the ball straight. If I over open the face and I would normally hit like a fade or a slice, well, that wind is actually gonna hold the ball up. Vice versa, if we had the wind going that way, well, I'm gonna to try to play more of a draw shape because that's gonna hold the ball up. It's actually gonna keep the ball kind of straight and it gives you a lot of room. Now, the ball will go shorter, so make sure you're taking more club. You're fighting the wind, so it's not gonna work out very well. But that's stuff that we can do when we're playing in the wind and to be able to navigate these very tough conditions, okay? Now, the last thing that we can do is make sure you plan for a miss. The wind is one of the things that drives pros crazy. You see scoring conditions get significantly worse on days when it is windy. Wind is very tough to deal with, it's unpredictable. So when I'm out there playing the targets, you have to realize that you're not gonna be flag hunting. You're gonna have a lot of long putts, you're not gonna get the ball very close, so you have to be ready for that. So as I do this, I'm gonna be hitting my shots, paying attention to it, but just realize when you're hitting them, you are going to have a pretty wide dispersion on those shots and what you got going on. But if you do those tips that we just talked about, you're gonna find yourself in much better shape and you're gonna be able to navigate these tough conditions a lot better.